So, dear all, today we are uh, learning the benefits of uh, the C language. As a middle level language, so we know that the C programming is the middle level language, which is somewhere between the low level language and the high level language. In the low level language, we know that the machine work and in the high level language, the user work and the C programming is in between. So this is the middle level language containing the features of high level as well as the low level. So it contains both the features. C combines the features of both high level and low level languages. It can be used for low level programming such as your scripting for drivers and kernels. As you know that C work with the low level language means work with the machine. Now in the machine, all the drivers comes. Driver means just like our printer driver or maybe you say some other devices there, their driver. And kernel, kernel is the place where the coding happen. So both the things can be worked with the help of the C programming. It also support the high level programming languages such as scripting for software application. So as you know that software application, just like uh, in our Android, we are having the apps. Similarly, in the Microsoft, we are having the applications. So such applications can be easily made with the help of C. So C work for the user apps as well as for the machine kernels and the drivers. That's why C is a middle level language that work for the high level as well as for the low level languages. C is a structured programming language which allows a complex program to be broken into small programs called functions. This thing we are learning from very first day that a huge program in C can be divided into small, small functions. Just like if I assume that there is a complete Microsoft window and the coding of clock is separate and the coding of your menu is separate. So this way it is easy to debug, easy to detect and easy to correct the code. So it, it also allows the free movement of data across the function. Just like if we, have, if we are having separate, separate department for both the things, then it will be very easy for things to work with. Various features of C, including direct access to machine level hardware API. API is the application programming interface and where your hardware work. And there is a direct access can be taken with the help of your C programming. The presence of C compiler deterministic resource use, dynamic memory allocation, make C programming language an optimum choice for scripting applications and drivers for embedded system. That thing we know that C helps us for generating the scripting applications as well as for the embedded system. Now, the C is the optimum choice. Optimum choice means the good choice because C provides you the dynamic memory allocation. Just like we know that with the help of calloc malloc functions, we can provide the dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation means on the runtime, we allocate the memory. Whatever the memory is required on runtime, we allocate it. So there are a few good features by which C is very much popular now. Even if we are having more languages, just like C++, Java, but they all start with the base of the C. C language is case sensitive. Case sensitive means your lower case, let us suppose small a and capital A will be treated as different. So lower case and upper case letters are treated differently. So if you are defining a variable small a or capital A, both are different. That's why the slash n and the slash capital N, both are different. So this will work and this will not work, okay? So you have to understand that case sensitive means the lower case and upper case, both are treated differently. C is highly portable. Portable means your C code, if you are saving into system, that you can give it to anybody else in the pen drive or via mail, so that is highly portable. 
and used for scripting system applications in the last slide we have learned this the scripting system application means we can just use the c language for the drivers for creating some script which form a major part of window unix and linux operating system so this scripting part which is done by your c language helps c to be very popular for unix linux and the windows operating system c is a general purpose programming language can be efficiently work on enterprise applications games graphics and other applications requiring calculation so any type of the thing you want to develop you can work with the c if the graphics are there or maybe you are going for the designing part programming part all the things can work with the help of c programming c language has a rich library which provides a number of built-in functions it also offer dynamic memory allocation see dynamic memory allocation built-in functions and modularity these are the key areas of c so whenever somebody asks you about the c programming you should understand that these three things you have to mention everywhere dynamic memory allocation means you can allocate the memory on runtime built in functions are already there with the help of the libraries rich library means hash include stdio.h conio.h those libraries are also there and their functions like printf scanf are also present c implements algorithms data structure swiftly facilitating faster computation in programs this has enabled the use of c in applications requiring higher degrees for calculation like matlab and mathematica see matlab and mathematica these are very popular tools for the research purpose just like whenever you are going for researching something maybe on networks you are going or maybe some other manipulation is going on to check out the result then these softwares will help you for the research purpose so matlab is very popular and mathematica is also there for the research purpose and yes these work with the c language also so that's why the c is very much popular so these are some benefits of c programming language